Good evening and salutations, my Days of Elias fans. So I gotta clear some stuff up. I know yesterday, I think I was sitting there talking about Jan Spears and how they just keep recycling her over and over again as being the villain of the month or week or whenever. Um, and I was kind of annoyed about that. And, you know, a lot of people actually brung up the fact that they do that with Kristen, they did that with Stefano, you know, the point is, Jan Spears isn't the only person that they just kind of recycle whenever they feel that they have a good villain and they want to sit there and use them. So, that is true. But I think with her, she just annoys me. Jan Spears just annoys me from the way she talks. Um... That part annoys me, but more of the fact that she's bad. Okay, the check is the check is pretty hot, and for her to sit there and be obsessed with one guy, there's literally like a billion men on the planet, and she's just obsessed with him, and it's been going on for years, and this just gets to a point where, at least for me, it's just kind of annoying, you know. And, I, and here's the thing: I haven't been watching the show that long. But, um, I noticed that Jan Spears was annoying the first time I saw her, and she has not gotten any better. So I think it's just really more Jan Spears just coming back over and over again. It's just, I'm just over it. And I don't really like the character, to be honest, so, yeah. Um, Jan Spears. So she opens the door, and, well, <laughs> after the devil does his thing... Making her look like, um, Bella. She opens the door. <sighs> I'm gonna be honest, there was a part of me that did kind of fast forward a little bit to it, because I, I just... Ugh. But there was one point where, you know, Sean was like... The way she was acting... He felt like there was something off. You know? He felt like it was something off, the way she was acting. The way she was moving really fast, and they were like kind of, you know, about to get down to business, like, whoa, um, am I sure I'm actually with my wife at this point? Because, you know, you got the devil running around, change, you know, um, changing the different people and stuff. So, what Janice Spears did was she was like, all right, well, call. If you think that I'm not here and I'm at the police station, why don't you call the police station? I was like, what the hell? And, of course, Marlena gets, Dev Marlena gets there somehow gets a, um, a hold of, um, Ray's phone and confirms that Bella's still there. So with that being said, they continue their, whatever, they continue their, their hot night of passion. I feel like I should have a drink for that. Stronger drink. And at some point, Bella gets a call from the devil saying, hey, why don't you come and meet me for, you know, anniversary, you know, special night or whatever. So she gets to the hotel, she opens the door, and she sees Sean in bed with her. Now, my question is, when she opened the door, did she open the door and saw Jan Spears, or did she open the door and saw herself because she had this look of like shock like of hurt and my whole thing is if I walked in the door and I saw her, like you know my girlfriend my wife having sex with somebody that looked like me I wouldn't be so much hurt but more just freaked out okay I would be literally freaked out and, uh, yeah, I'll be freaked out. So, I guess the question is, what is she seeing? You know? So, they call, J they call Jason and Bella and Ray for snit there talking to him. And, you know, Bella's all like, you're going to go to jail for a long time. You're a scumbag, this, that, and the third. You got Lucas there. And I'm just like, why is he... Why is he part of this whole interrogation thing? Like, didn't you tell Lucas to kind of just move on somewhere else? But he's just there looking like, don't say anything. 
Don't wrap me up, bro. Don't do it. Don't do it. We had a deal, man. I mean, I know my plan went sideways, obviously, because you're here. But we had a deal, bro. And that's pretty much what he says when they leave. You know, Jason's like, um, yeah. Because um, at first, Lucas was like, how'd you get here? You know, like, how'd you get caught? Like, what, what was you doing? Um, but don't worry, don't say anything. I got you, I got you. And, you know, Jason's like, nah. You've been doing the thinking for both of us. And I'm here. And you're there. So I'm cutting that deal. Because if I go down, you going down. So, long story short, they come up with a plan. And pretty much the plan is to say that EJ was the one that kidnapped um, Sammy. And to be honest, when the way that EJ, you know, his demeanor and stuff like that, for a while, I thought it was EJ that kidnapped um, Sammy. Especially when he picked up the phone, heard Sammy's voice, and was like, nah, it was nobody. Damn telemarketers, because apparently they're, they're still a thing. So I thought it was EJ for a while. And of course, Rafe gets over there and arrests him. Now, you know, Sammy and EJ are talking, and Sammy's all like, I'm, I'm worried. You know, this is after, you know, EJ's like, all right, I want to be back with you. I want to be together with you. And, you know, Sammy's like, I don't think that's a good idea. So now I'm thinking writing, Sammy, what the hell is it that you want? And, of course, she's worried that, you know, he hasn't forgiven her. This isn't real. They go through this whole thing about Sammy sitting there saying, I want to hear you say you forgive me. Um, you know, at first, EJ's like, no, you know, I have my pride. And I'm like, bro, just say what she wants to hear so she can just stop whining and going through all this, whatever that she's going through. You know, I look at EJ and I look at Sammy and I'm like, you know, EJ, I like you as a character. You're one of my favorite characters, but you can be an absolute dick. Up until a point where somebody crosses you the wrong way, your significant other crosses you the wrong way, you are ready to obliterate them emotionally. You know? But I can imagine you inflicting that pain on anyone else other than a woman that I... For the most part, really don't like. And Sammy, you're just, well, you're a mess and annoying and a whole bunch of other things that I would, you know, I could sit there and say, but the video would be too long. So, you know what? EJ's perfect for you. And EJ, Sammy's perfect for you because if you're together, you're not out there ruining someone else's lives. So they go through this back and forth thing. And in the end, you know, EJ's like, I forgive you. Um, which I'm like, bro, you cheated on her first. But, okay, sure. <laughs> We're just going to sit there and act like that didn't happen. Sure, bro, you you forgive her. Sammy, you know, I don't care at this point. Um, you know what? Lucas dodged the bullet. Unfortunately, he may not dodge jail time because he did all this for Sammy. <sighs> okay. Sierra and Ben comes to see John, I mean, um, comes to see Doug and Julie for Christmas, you know, or Christmas Eve. I don't know what state they're actually celebrating. I don't know if it's Christmas or Christmas Eve. Anyway, they come over there, celebrate, talk, um, and of course, before they got there, you know, Julie was like, oh, I just got a call from Hope, you know, she's not going to be able to make it. Oh, no. Hope is not going to be able to make it for Christmas? You don't say. Damn it. Damn that weather. And probably the hurricane after. And maybe a tornado. Yeah, no, it, it still doesn't sit right with me with the whole, we're <laughs> just not going to explain hope away, but, uh, whatever. Anyway, they're, they're getting together, they're having a good time, and, you know, it's pretty much kind of, like, you know, time to go back to the safe house. Um, of course, you know, Sierra's not there talking to Rafe before, and they kind of 
I don't really understand how they said, all right, we got to go and see Doug and Julie, even though we are literally running from our lives from the devil. But now we're going to make time to see Julie and Doug. So, of course, they're having a good time. Um, ben goes to memory lane about the last time that he tried to hang up the ornament and well, I'll fast forward through it because I just really didn't care. Um, anyway, he hangs up the ornament, about to get ready to go, and then the ornament catches on fire. And I'm not going to lie, I was like, what the? Ornament catches on fire, the door just burst right on open. And of course, it's Marlena being possessed by the devil just walks on in. I'm just sitting there just looking like, so, so, did y'all still think it was a good idea to, um, to leave the safe house? I mean, let's be honest, I, I, I feel like he could have found her, he could have found them anywhere. So, you know, I guess on that front, well, if you're gonna go, must sit there and be with your loved ones before whatever happens can happen. At the same time, if the devil can find you so far... You really thought it was a good idea to leave to, you know, stop by and say, hey, you couldn't just call? Like, hey, we kind of like in this whole hiding out thing from something that's damn near unstoppable. Maybe we shouldn't go out, but we can call you. Nah, screw that. Anyway, I think that's about it. I feel like I missed something. I might have missed something. I know I missed something. I don't know what it is. I um, also feel like this episode was kind of short. But then again, I did kind of fast forward through fake Bella and Sean's sex scenes. Because I, I just really didn't need to see that stuff. Um, so yes, with that being said, I'm going to go. I don't know if there's a new episode tomorrow. I'm going to sit there and check to see. But if anyone knows if there's a new episode tomorrow... Please let me know. Um, with that being said, if there's not, then I hope everyone has a amazing and safe holiday, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, because for some odd reason I felt like they dropped the ball on this show too as far as representing the other holidays. Like usually it was sit there and say happy Hanukkah or something, but they didn't really do that. So, this is the uh, second show that dropped the ball. So, um, okay. And I'm a Christmas guy, but I respect all the holidays um, that people, you know, want to celebrate. And also, a happy Festus if you celebrate Festus. If you know what that, you know what I'm talking about, and you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so with that being said, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. Be safe. Have a great, safe holiday. And, um... See you in the next video.